Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're rounding up all the Rainbow Six News around Operation Deep Freeze, the new season of Rainbow Six Siege. Now we'll begin with the stuff that's been outright deleted. Situations and terrorist hunt are gone. They are no more. So before Operation Deep Freeze launches, make sure to go in and replay all the situations because after Operation Deep Freeze launches, they will be no more. Now they are being replaced with new playlists, so we'll hit on these. But they're not really a replacement. They're not a one-to-one. -one. They're their own unique thing. So we're getting two new playlists. One of them is the AI playlist. This is going to be you against AI defenders. And you can team up with other people and everything. It's actually going to be, I think, really, really good. And if they can expand it and they plan to, to have like an attacker version as well in the future, it should be good. And it should be a really great thing for new players to jump into. And if you want just a casual experience. And the AI is a big step up from what you would have got in Terrorist Hunt. However, the other playlist is probably closer to Terrorist Hunt in style. So it's actually going to be training on maps. And this is quite good. This would be great for learning new maps. You jump in, you have a bunch of AI to go and kill. And it also kind of leads you around the map as you're playing to let you kind of learn the maps. Now, this one does have a lot of targets to shoot at, but they don't move. So it's going to be okay for maybe doing your kind of warm up and getting ready to play. Um, but for the most part, it's not definitely not a replacement for Terrorist Hunt, but it's the closest thing in this new version. Moving on from that, we have the biggest surprise for me, and that is the Rainbow Six Siege Marketplace, which will allow you to sell your cosmetics to other players for R6 credits. And Ubisoft will take a 10% fee on those transactions. So this is probably a good way for Ubisoft to pull some of the R6 credits out of the economy that's already out there. And I presume it is going to make them a lot of money as well. The other thing is that, of course, this could be very easily used for nefarious purposes. So we'll have to see how this uh, shakes out and what restrictions it's going to have. It's going to have a good rule set, like a, even just maybe you need to have your account for like a year before you use it or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it all plays out. But this for me was a massive surprise and I think it will be extremely popular. So we'll see. So let's talk balancing now. We've got a huge amount of stuff that is just going to completely change Rainbow Six Siege's gameplay tremendously. So first of all, frag grenades, they no longer have the ability to cook. Their fuse time has been decreased from five seconds to four. So this is absolutely insane. It means, for instance, blowing someone up through, say, a ceiling is pretty much never going to happen now. And after my early access gameplay, I can say that frag grenade deaths should go down dramatically. Now, the good thing is they didn't reduce the blast radius or damage. So that has actually stayed the same. I thought they were probably going to go that way and reduce that stuff. But thankfully, they have not. But the good news is a lot of operators are now getting frag grenades in their kits. So let's run through them. So Osa is losing her smoke grenades, gaining frags. Line is losing his EMP impact grenades, gaining frag grenades and removing the gun six. IQ is gaining frag grenades. Blackbeard is losing his EMP impact and gaining frag grenades. Sens is losing his gun six and gaining frag grenades. There's also a few other secondary gadgets getting switched around. So Capital, for instance, is gaining EMP impact grenades. Grim is losing his breaching charge, being replaced with EMP impact grenades. And then just to reiterate on the frags, that means IQ, Lion, Sense, Osa, and Blackbeard have them all, including the people who already have it, which is Sledge, Nuke, Glass, Gridlock, and Finca. So far more nade options out there, which is a good thing, but definitely losing the cooking is a huge surprise for me, and it is definitely a massive nerf. So we'll see how it plays out, and I, I cannot make an opinion on this at this point with just some early access gameplay. Going to have to see this on the new season to see how this is going to impact gameplay. But what I can guarantee is this is going to be a big impact when it comes to how the game is played now and how it's going to be played in the new season. Now let's talk about some nerfs and some buffs for operators. So Maestro's getting a buff. He's now going from two of his evil eyes to three. So a nice little buff there. But let's talk about Mira. So she is getting a massive nerf. And this is this is another big surprise. I was not expecting this either. So Mira's black mirrors are going to be able to be smashed at range with gadgets that drill into surfaces. So if you imagine an Ash Charge or a Kali's Lance that dig into surfaces, those are going to actually smash Mira windows now. 
Now they can be countered and we're going to play around with the counters on this, but this is a huge freaking nerf. Being able to take out a mirror window from range with those options is insane. So huge nerf for Mira. Now they do mention the same thing for Maestro that the glass gets shattered with these gadgets, but also it gets destroyed by those gadgets. So what I'm actually thinking here is we might be looking at a little teaser of what's coming next with a new operator who probably has yet another drilling gadget or something like that. And uh, they're getting ready for the future here. But yeah, big surprise for Mira. And I don't entirely know how this is gonna impact gameplay just yet, but very uh, worrying for every Mira main out there. Now for the battle pass for the new season, they're making it a little bit better to navigate. It still looks like it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. I kind of just need like an unlock all button or just unlock whatever I can with the stuff I have because man, I hate, I'd hate working my way through it. And the update is pretty simple. You're gonna have the map that you can normally zoom out to and have a look at, and you can now just unlock stuff from that map, which might make it a little bit easier to navigate it. And then of course we've got the Brian York Bear coming this season and so far he seems extremely fun. My early access gameplay with him has been hilarious. So what I would say is he's like a reverse Goyu combined with Malusi and maybe a little bit of Mute Jammers and a few other things and he's different and just awesome. So very cool to be playing with him and I don't think he's too powerful or anything right now but yeah absolutely just fun operator. And then we have the brand new map layer. So this is Deimos' layer. It is sweet. It looks incredible. Like you will not believe it when you spawn into it. It just is amazing, um, especially the outside. But it's freaking massive. Like I literally went downstairs into the basement one match and I could not find the stairs back up. I literally couldn't for the entire match find the stairs back up. And uh, it is it is a it's a big maze for sure. It's gonna take ages to get to know it. I wish it was just two levels, but no, it's much more. So yeah, it's a very very big map, but it looks cool, and we'll see how it ends up playing in the future. There's some very interesting locations on it that I think could end up being really good. 